guys, Mike Lynch. Today's video is gonna address a question. This question comes from one of my Instagram followers. Her name is Cindy and she's from Brazil. Cindy asks, Mike, when I start an exercise program, I can easily tone my legs, butt, and stomach area. Because I'm a curvy girl with wider hips, what can I do to tone this specific area? So Cindy's question actually comes from last week's video where we discussed the exercise that's appropriate for a man and woman and if there's any difference. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a great video. You'll learn a lot from it. So Cindy, I'm going to answer your question and I'm going to make sense of it for you. Okay, Cindy, your question is asked all the time. I'm sure every single personal trainer has heard this one and hopefully they answered it correctly. First off, let's address the word tone. You cannot tone a muscle. Somebody made up that word a long time ago and it's one of those words in the fitness industry that won't die. What you can do is lose body fat. What you want to lose is what's called subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous fat is the fat that's in between your muscle tissue and your skin. So you have your muscle tissue, you have your skin, and in between this area, there's fat. You can lose fat or reduce the fat. And when you reduce the fat to the muscle, the skin comes closer. And the closer that skin comes into the muscle, you start to see the striations and the anatomy of the muscle. And that is when somebody looks defined and they look like they have a more curves, um, not curvy, but they see the, the shape of the muscle. And that is what people are referring to when they say the word tone. Okay, so you can't tone a muscle, you can lose body fat and make it look more defined. Okay, second, you cannot unfortunately spot reduce body fat. The only way to do this is through surgery, okay? And you know, if you've exhausted every option after two or three years of being on the proper diet and exercise program and you have that last five or 10 pounds that you just can't seem to lose, saying that you're doing the right thing, then that's something that you have to address with yourself and your doctor, but you can't spot reduce a certain area, okay? When you lose subcutaneous fat, you lose it systemically. And all systemically means is from head to toe. You will see that your rings, your wristwatch, everything will get looser. Now, if you have problem areas like men have it in the stomach and women, women we talked about it, you know, a lot of times they get in the hips. That's going to come down as well, but it's gonna be, unfortunately, the last places to go. Now, what we're gonna talk about <laughs> is things that you may be doing to reduce that body fat, not you, Cindy, but everybody that exercises, that actually may be causing the problem to actually visually be worse. Okay, before I tell you what to do, let's start with you should never do, okay? And this has been done since I used to see my mom exercising to videotapes when I was a young kid. And there's machines for it, and now there's these bands that I see everybody on Instagram and YouTube wearing. Oh my God. All right, listen, you have what's called the abductor muscles. They're the muscles that are out on the outside of your hips. They are a muscle just like your bicep and your chest and your back. They grow. You give them tension, time on the tension, right? We talked about that in another video, so go and check that video out as well if you haven't already. When you give a muscle resistance and time on the tension, it gets stronger and it grows. It grows. So remember, we have the muscle tissue, we have the subcutaneous fat, right, and the skin. We want to reduce the body fat so the skin comes closer and it gets tighter to the muscle, okay? I can't or no trainer can actually redesign the bones in your body. That's fixed and it's never going anywhere. Unless you go to a butcher and he puts you on a sore and cuts your bones off like you know, a ribeye steak, you can't change your bones. So we have the muscle, the fat, the skin, okay? So we want to reduce the fat into the muscle. You don't want to put direct pressure on those muscles because they're going to grow. They're going to respond from the stimulus and they're going to grow bigger. 
So you're gonna actually wind up with bigger adductor muscles, which is gonna take up room in your jeans. And you're gonna feel like, why the hell can I lose body fat in this area? Maybe you are, but you're overworking your adductor muscles. So get the bands off your hips and your legs, get off the machines and pushing out all day. Mom, sorry any women from the 80s, the ankle weights laying out on the side with the Fonda tapes, it's no good. There's certain muscles that are gonna get plenty of stimulus indirectly that you never wanna directly hit. And we'll talk about that in our ab video, okay? Because there's certain ab muscles that you don't wanna hit directly either. So there's a lot of misguided information out there and sometimes when I see things I wanna like just, you know, so no more abduction work, period. Okay, so I'm back and I'm gonna give you four tips so you feel better and look better in regards to your hips. Before I give you those tips, I wanna say something for the men, or as a representative of the men. Ladies, we love your curves, so embrace them. You know, in the 80s and the 90s, stick figure was all the rage. We don't like that, it's dead and gone, and I think I can speak for every man. We like curves, I get it, you wanna look lean and toned, right, it's a fake word, but toned, but embrace your curves. That's the way you were created, and it's completely awesome. So, I just wanna say that, but now we'll get into the training aspect of it. Four things, one, make sure that your diet is balanced, because when your blood sugar is balanced, your hormones are balanced. And when your hormones are balanced, you reduce body fat systemically. And it also lowers estrogen in the body, whether you're a man or a female, okay? So get that nutrition under control. Secondly, you wanna train, and this is gonna sound corny, you wanna train with passion, okay? We all have a day where we don't wanna be in the gym and we kinda just loaf through the workout. But most of the time, you wanna visualize what you wanna look like, what you wanna feel like. Whether you have an old picture of yourself and you need to post that on your refrigerator and look at that every day before you go to the gym or look at your favorite fitness model or actress as motivation not to try to be them because that's unhealthy. You wanna visualize what you wanna look and feel like and that is going to make you train far more intense. And you know what, it sounds kinda wishy-washy, but it works. You try to do that for a whole year, you will be pleasantly surprised. Okay, last two things. We're gonna talk about the butt, the glutes, the ass. We all lose butt tissue. It's one of the first tissues on the body that actually atrophies. Now, if your butt doesn't have a nice hook to it, it's gonna look like a pancake, okay? And when you get that pancake ass, it's going to make your hips look wider. It's a bad situation you have a much better chance of building muscle than reducing in an area. You can reduce body fat systemically, as I said, but you wanna work your muscles. How do you do that in your glutes? Squats, leg press if it's a good one, lunges, reverse lunges. There's so many different exercises that we'll address, but work your tush. Don't work your abductor muscles directly. They'll get work on their own. Don't directly work them. The last thing that I'm going to tell you about every bodybuilder does, whether it's a female bodybuilder or a male bodybuilder, they work on what's called their V taper. Shoulders, lats, if you work them with intensity and you build them, not you know bodybuilder big, it's going to make you come in on an angle. It's going to make your waist, which is cool, look more narrow and your hips look more narrow, even if you never lost any size in that. So you don't come straight up, you wanna come out, and it's gonna give you the appearance that you have less body fat in that area. Now, if you lose body fat in that area, which is very possible, and you work on your V-taper, this is when you really get that shapely body that every man and female wants. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. I give you a lot of knowledge, as always, Check with your doctor before you start any diet, any training program. So, Cindy, I want to thank you for your question. I hope this helped every single woman that watches this video. 
Girls, if you know any of your girlfriends that struggles with this and you don't, because not every single woman has issues in the hip area. Some women have it in their arms, some women have it in their stomach, and some women are blessed that they can eat and do whatever they want and they never put on body fat in that area. And all your girlfriends probably want to kill you. But pass this information on to your friends, to your loved ones, because I gotta tell you something, it's not out there. There's a lot of gimmicks and a lot of frustration, and that's what I'm doing with these videos. I'm ending it. Whether you're a man, a woman, cat, dog, mouse, we're gonna get everybody fit. All right, so that's it guys, Mike Lynch. We'll see you next time, thank you. Wait, one second. Subscribe please, subscribe, yep, click it. Like it, make a comment, ask a question, and we'll address it in the next coming video. Thank you.